What is up y'all? Tonight, Christy and I, we're gonna show y'all how to cook a whole fish. This is one of the tastiest and also in my mind, one of the easiest ways to cook a fish. That's right you guys, we're bringing it back to a little Greek style tonight and cooking the fish whole. It's gonna be amazing, just so you guys wait. We've got everything prepared, so we're just gonna whip it together, show you guys step by step how to do it right in your kitchen. That's right, here we go. So we have, so I've had this fish right here sitting on ice for a day or so. So the first thing that I always do is just rinse the fish off. Just rinse it under a cool water. The next thing that you wanna do, especially when you're cooking a whole fish, is you want to remove all the scales. It's very easy. So, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a fork and we're gonna start at the tail and go against the grain. So we're gonna start, so we're gonna go from the tail to the head and we're just gonna remove the scales. So I can uh, make sure all the scales don't get all over my kitchen. But all we're doing is we're just, again, we're just running the fork from the tail up to the head kind of against the grain. This is the side with the scales removed. That's the side with the scales on, so you can see it's still got the nice spots and everything that makes this fish beautiful. But right there, that's what we want it to look like when you're done scaling it. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna get this fish ready to be cooked. And what that entails is we're gonna remove the guts and the entrails, and then we're also gonna remove the fins. Pretty much, all we're gonna do is remove everything that we don't want to eat or to have when we're cooking. So I'm just gonna grab a handy dandy paper towel. And when you guys buy your fish at the fish market, they already come uh, you know, cleaned and ready to be cooked. So we're just gonna prepare our fish like that. I had just caught this fish uh, yesterday, so we're just gonna go ahead and all you're gonna do is every fish has a little uh, spot right here that's um, kind of their stomach and you're just gonna stick your knife right there and you're just gonna work your blade all the way all the way up as far as you can up through the mouth and that's just gonna open the fish up and then we've got all the guts nasty stuff in the entrails very easy all you're gonna do is just use a paper towel and you're just gonna remove everything So you do want to remove all the entrails and everything in here. The other thing that you want to do is you want to remove the gills and the gill plates. So to do that, all you're going to do is you're just going to reach down and just pull them out. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, this fish is all cleaned up and everything is removed. We got all the gills out and everything. The very last step that we're going to do before we... So the very last step that we need to do to get this fish to be ready to be cooked before we season it is we're gonna remove the fins. So the next thing that I like to do once, okay, so now this fish is definitely ready to be cooked. So we've got all the fins removed, all the scales, we've got it, you know, just like you would buy it at a fish market. We've got, you know, all the entrails pulled out, you know, the, um, we got all the gills removed and everything. I do like to leave the head on because it does keep a lot of the flavor by leaving the head of the fish on. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to simply score this fish. And by scoring, it means that we're just creating some slits right here. Just so that the fish will cook evenly. I also like to open the fish up a little bit. You're supposed to leave the top fins on there? Mm -hmm. So I also like to open this fish up right here on the top only because there's gonna be some, because I like to I like to add some stuff in here. So this is where you can add like your lemons, and some of your other seasonings in here. So I just like to work my knife through here. Now, you're gonna feel bones and everything, that's okay. Because when you cook your fish and you bake your fish, and as you're eating it, 
it's gonna peel right off of the bones. So this right here is how I like to do it. So what I did is I just worked my knife down the back of the fish and I just opened it up so I have a nice fillet right here that I can stuff all my seasonings in here and I've scored it nice down the, now, so I've also scored it right here down the side of the fish. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So there it is. This fish right here is ready to be seasoned, ready to be cooked. So we've got it opened up right here on both sides and ready to be seasoned. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna have my lovely wife, Christy. I'm gonna flip the camera around and Christy's gonna show y'all how to season this thing Greek style. Once you get to here though, it's near impossible to mess your fish up. All you gotta do, put it in the, um, all you gotta do is set the oven to 400 and add your favorite seasonings to it. But that right there, that's how you set yourself up for an amazing fish dinner right there. All right, so let's season this fish up. All right, you guys, Greek style seasoning part two. I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare your fish. Here we have the perfect fish that Jeff did an awesome job kind of scoring it, getting it ready for us. All right, y'all, so anytime you guys are making a Greek style or Italian style fish, you guys always want tons of garlic. So fresh garlic is always the way to go. So I just got a bunch of cloves. And all right, so right here, you guys wanna put a good amount of garlic right in the middle. And then Jeff made two slits just at the top. So we're gonna just kind of stick our garlic in here. All right, you guys, so you want a little garlic in each side. Second, you guys are gonna add a little bit of onions. If you guys really like a kick of flavor, Jeff loves onions on basically everything. So I'm not gonna go super heavy. I'm just gonna put a little bit for some extra flavor. All right, y'all, so after the onions, you guys, I have some grape tomatoes. So three things that are going in here so far is grape tomatoes, onions, and your garlic. And we love ourselves some grape tomatoes. So for these, you guys can kind of pack these in here. Yeah, so in the middle of this fish right here, what Chrissy's showing you guys, you can just stuff everything in here. And that's what's going to also allow that flavor to, it's going to like penetrate the whole entire fish. So don't feel like you have to like, you know, so this right here is like the belly of the fish. So you can just stuff that full of like everything. All right, so for Greek kind of styled filleted fish, I like a ton of herbs. I've got rosemary and we're gonna just go ahead and take a bunch of these leaves and we are literally gonna stuff our fish with so much flavor. And y'all, literally, you guys can stick this whole thing in here. All right, so I've got a bunch of sliced lemons here. Of course, it's gotta go in the belly. Especially like Greek food, you guys, lemons, big part, especially with the fish. It's gonna kind of bring out just that aroma with the with the lemons all throughout the fish is gonna bring all these flavors together. Look at it that. Complements it it just looks well. pretty. Yes, and Check presentation, it. very important. You guys are having to set your oven to 400 while you guys are preparing your fish. All right, so we are just about finished, you guys. Next, we're gonna hit it up with a little basil pesto and some olive oil. So. Literally, I'm just gonna take some olive oil and literally paint it on this fish. All right, so literally, y'all, get crazy. Go ahead and paint that olive oil on. Then I'm gonna put some basil pesto, and you guys are gonna paint up your fish. All right, you guys, so you can go kind of heavy with this basil pesto, and this is what's gonna really kick it up a notch. You guys can kind of brush this on the outside and then on the inside. So when we are cooking this, we're gonna obviously be eating the skin, so this is really gonna kind of bring out all these flavors. That's true Greek style right there as yep. well. You, you know, this works with snapper, um, it works with, you know, just a lot of your other fish that you can cook whole as well. So this right here, that is a Greek style. Look at that presentation, boom, boom. Okay, so when you guys are preparing your fish, I also like to put a lot of tomatoes around the fish as well. And these tomatoes will cook and just give it, like, I don't know, when it comes out, all these tomatoes will be cooked around it as well. Like, that's part of the dish. Here y'all go. This is your Greek style whole fish right here, y'all. All right, y'all, so there it is. That's our Greek style fish ready for the oven. And as y'all can see, so you want lemons for sure. You want also, you know, the herbs like basil. If you want it Greek style, you gotta have lemons, basil, and then you've got your tomatoes and everything, but the basil pesto really is a nice touch. So I recommend going heavy on that and then also going heavy on the garlic. So 
just open that up and you've got your onions, tomatoes, garlic, lemons, and all your herbs in there. That's going to bring out tons of flavor in this fish. Mm -hmm. Got our oven set to 400. We're going to go ahead and pop that baby in and do not overcook your fish. We're going to check Aren't our fish guys? at 12 minutes. Yeah, so you want to, you know, just check your fish. <laughs> Make sure that there's no red in the meat. Make sure that the meat is white and flaky. We'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But don't want to overcook your fish. We also want to cook your fish enough. Boom. Boom. That's how it's done one fish, two fish style. Or should I say Greek style in the Anderson house. All right, y'all. So the fish has been cooking for about 15 minutes. We're going to pull it out. That's right, you guys. 15 minutes later, we're going to check on it, make sure that it's white flaky meat and you y'all you will be able to tell if it's finished or not it's literally going to be falling off of the bone oh my gosh look at that Woo. that looks so good that's amazing oh my gosh so when it kind of starts splitting apart like that you know it's done and you can kind of check it if it's pink throw it back in there for another minute but you definitely don't want to overcook it because it'll dry out that christy right here has sauteed <laughs> so that is a hot plate that is just amazing. Christy did an amazing job. As you can see, you've even got this like sauce down in here. Just kind of the, this is like a combination of the basil, the lemons, even some of the juice from the tomatoes and the fish itself. So it's just this right here, just like a bone in ribeye steak. Just the fish holds so much flavor when you cook the whole fish. You're gonna get all the meat, it holds all the flavor and it just flakes right off the bones. That is a legit Greek style fish. All right, so when y'all go to eat your fish, this literally, look at this meat. First of all, super tender, super white, and that's what you get right there. All right, y'all, here it goes. Let's see, is it good? Better be good. <laughs> it's amazing. How is that not good? Oh my gosh. Super healthy, mm, super yummy. That's some of the best fish that I've ever had. Just grab a little bit of these tomatoes with it. So just grab a little bit of these tomatoes, a little bit of those onions. Look at that bite. That right there is so much flavor. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's amazing. So there it is. That is a that's how you cook a whole fish Greek style. That's right, you guys. Prep time, about 15 minutes. Cook time, 15 minutes on 400. 30 minutes total, y'all, and you guys have an awesome Greek style dinner ready to go, and that's, that's how right. it's done. That's how it's done. You can do that with <laughs> speckled trout, trout, striper, uh, snapper, you know, pretty much any of your fish like that. Spanish mackerel, too. Mm -hmm. So y'all give that a shot. Cook yourself a whole fish and there you go impress your lady that's right you guys boom all right y'all leave us a comment below if you guys like this vid and we will see y'all next time peace out